restaurant in, uh, in Center of London. Um, I had a great lunch, but I'm not going to have time for dinner because I have to rush from here to uh, the TV station. So this is my on the way to the TV station dinner for three hours. Um, all right, second topic I was going to talk about was why the hell am I talking about Donald Trump when Biden is actively trying to destroy the United States as we speak right now, it's happening. Why the hell am I talking about Donald Trump? I should be talking only about Biden. God, how many times do I have to say it? Biden is going to try to destroy America whether I say something about it or not. But the little influence I have, I might have, maybe at the margin, I hope, is to try to make the Republican Party better before the next election. I don't know if that'll happen. The only hope we have long term is for the Republican Party to be better than Trump. And right now, Trump dominates the Republican Party. So it's not a good party. Maybe it's better than Biden. OK, I, I'll grant you that. It's still not good. What's the point of talking about Biden? All of you agree with me on Biden. The whole freaking world agrees with me on Biden. I mean, does anybody like Biden? Nobody likes Biden, right? I mean, what's the point of me attacking the left? Everybody who listens to the Iran book show already thinks the left are horrible. And I spend a lot of time attacking the left, right? But you all agree with that. It's, it's great for nods and everybody say, yeah, go Iran, beat them up. This is great. I mean, it gets you excited. Good. I'm happy. And I'm happy to entertain all of you guys. But if you think about where you're going to have a, an impact, if we're going to have an impact, where we're going to be able to change things. It has to be in critiquing the right. It has to be in trying to make the right better. It has to be in trying to make the Republican Party a better opposition party to Biden. It has to be in convincing you to go out and be active in your communities to make the Republican Party better. You're not involved in democratic politics. You're not going to make the Democratic Party better. Good luck. But you might. Our only chance, maybe is either to have a third party, but good luck with that, or to make the Republican Party better. And the only way to make the Republican Party better, the only way, is to bury Donald Trump. It's to bury him, not just oppose him, but bury him. Because he will not allow the Republican Party to become better. So. That's the only place to have influence. I, I know it's more fun to attack the left. I get it. But it's not what it's about. Right? It's not about having fun. Well, a little bit. It's about, do we want to have an impact on the world? And if we want to have an impact on the world, we need to make whatever forces might be good better. We need to engage with them. And just spending all your time attacking the left when everybody else out there on the right is attacking the left already is just uninteresting. What's interesting is when you from the quote, maybe right, are attacking the right. That makes it interesting. And that has influence. Right? When the left attacks the right, nobody listens because the left attacking the right. When the right attacks the left, nobody listens because the right attacking the left. But if you attack your own people, people listen because it's more objective. Anyway, I don't consider myself on the right, but um, people do. So it's, I, I mean, everybody, I, I mean, the main comment I got yesterday on Super Chat was, oh, you're on STDS. I mean, over and over and over and over good, you're on STDS. I didn't hear one, I didn't see one comment that contradicted a statement I made about Donald Trump. One comment that contradicted a fact that I provided. You don't agree with me on Trump, fine, give me some facts. Give me some evidence. It's something I said yesterday. Or our assessment, we agree on the facts, but our assessment of the fact is different. I'm open to that. But to say uh, somebody, the first comment on uh, the first comment on this chat board, he's just using MSNBC talking points. I mean, even if that's true, are the talking points right? Or are they wrong? Isn't that the question? Not whether it came from the left or came from the right. What is 
the facts. What is truth? And it's astounding to me how few people actually care about the truth rather than care about defending their tribe. So, you know, yesterday the topic was pro anti Donald Trump. Nobody came to protect, to defend him. So I, uh, I uh, used my time on stage to, uh, you know, I think I was pretty gentle uh, in comparison to what I really think. Uh, it, you know, uh, over what, what I think the damage Donald Trump does for America and, and does to the world. And that doesn't mean I think Biden's better. It just means I think that we need somebody better than Trump to oppose Biden. And my hope is that just at the margin, maybe I can convince Americans not to make Trump the nominee for president next time around. I don't know that I have that much influence, probably not. But that would be great. Have somebody else, maybe a Republican I can support. I don't know. I can dream, right? So, I don't know. Get a life, people. Um, it just drives me nuts. Uh, what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect, not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the role of the collectivist brutes. All right, before we go on, reminder, please like the show. We, we've got 163 live listeners right now, uh, 30 likes. That should be at least 100. I figure at least 100 of you actually like the show. Maybe there are like 60 of the Matthews out there who hate it. But, but at least the people who are liking it, you know, I want to see, I want to see a thumbs up. There you go. Start liking it. I want to see that go to 100. All it takes is a click of a, a click of a, a thing, whether you're looking at this. Uh, and, and, you know, the likes matter. It, it's not an issue of my ego. It's an issue of the algorithm. The more you like something, the more the algorithm likes it. So, you know, and if you don't like the show, give it a thumbs down. Let's see your actual views being reflected in the likes. But uh, if you like it, don't just sit there, help get the show promoted. Of course, you should also share and uh, you can support the show at yourrunbookshow.com slash support or on Patreon or Subscribestar or Locals uh, and, uh, and show your support for, all, for, for, for the work, for the value hopefully you're receiving from this. And, uh, and of course, don't forget, if you're not a subscriber, even if, you, even if you just come here to troll or even if you're here like Matthew to defend Marx, uh, then uh, you should subscribe because that way you'll know when to show up. You'll know what shows are on, when they're on. You'll get notified, right? So, um, yes, like, share, subscribe, support. Like, share, subscribe, support. There you go. Easy. Do one or all of those, please. <laughs>